Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, welcoming the uber-talented and still teenage, hard to believe, Sadie Calvano from CBS's hit show, Mom. Season 2 finale is on the way and they've been greenlit for season 3. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, Sadie Calvano. You and I were just uh, reminiscing because I just <laughs> interviewed your fictitious grandmother, but one of the best actresses in the business, Allison Janney, and you're on this wonderful show, CBS's Mom, and it just got renewed for season three. How freaking <laughs> awesome is that? You're like, we just found out. Yeah. Well, when you find out the show I'm on is now going to season three, your reaction is? <laughs> <laughs> it's so exciting, and it's all good news. I am so, so, so stoked to get to go back and play more with some amazing women. So thank you guys for supporting us and we're coming back. Amazing women. Anna Faris, Allison Janney. Anna, one of the best comedy minds in Hollywood. Allison is one of the great everythings in Hollywood. <laughs> As a young actress, being a teenager, when you get to work with two women of that caliber, yeah. do you just sit back and say, all right, I'm good to go. Absolutely. I think sometimes I talk to Anna and Alice and I'm like, how crazy is it to be you? <laughs> like, how crazy? But the, I think one of the craziest things to me is that when you meet these women that are at such a level of superstardom where you're winning Emmys and your face is everywhere, like, you expect them on some level to not really be normal people anymore. And what has blown my mind is that they are so grounded and so humble and such kind human beings that they're amazing people. I'm honored to call them family. Do you find yourself to be the the mentor of the group? Because Anna's always p posting pictures of her child with Chris. <laughs> Allison's obviously just, again, has, has such a great life off camera. But do they sit there and mentor you and say, Sadie, this is how you're going to approach your career, so you're going to approach your life? Um, well, I think it's not so much of like, this is what you're going to do. I think it's that they help me figure out what's the next step and that they give me more guidance than I could ever thank them for. And whether that means college and Chuck Lorre wrote me my college recommendation letters. So okay, that's, a, that's the coolest thing ever. You, what schools are you applying? Now I've got to know. Um, well, I'm going to Occidental. Congratulations. Thank you. That's got to be so cool. The dean opens up a recommendation letter and he's like, Chuck Lorre, this can't be real. <laughs> So whether it's like figuring out how I should ask him or this year they both really stressed to me how important they thought it was that I go and travel and make use of this summer while they still have the time to do so before things become such a whirlwind. And they're amazing women. I'm so lucky to work with them. You would mentioned the word important. And one of the things that I think makes your show so successful and why people have attached to it is you deal with important issues. Absolutely. Teenage pregnancy. I mean, there's so much going on with the show outside of the comedy and the dynamic of these three women and their chemistry together. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about these tackling these issues, because as a young actress, that's got to create a little more emphasis for you in, in appreciating this project. Absolutely. I think very rarely do sitcoms tackle these kinds of issues. And so we've kind of gotten to create a little genre of our own because not only do we bring laughter into these homes and let people unwind and giggle a little bit at the end of their day, we also present a safe way to hopefully open up conversations on really important topics, whether it be drug or alcohol addiction or teen pregnancy or we started off season two homeless, Marjorie had cancer. So there's tons of issues that we hopefully can encourage families or women or men or anyone watching our show to talk about. You're young in the business and this is such a hard business and especially with TV, there have been actors who have gone through 10, 15 series without success. And here you're on a series that has millions of viewers, has success. What do you think it is about this show that ha has drawn people in. What's been the main factors why people are getting the show renewed season after season? Well, that's a tough question. I think one of the things that really helps us is that we talk about things that are really relevant and really relatable, regardless of the kind of home you live in, where you live, what incomes you're making, if you have one parent, two parents, five parents, like it doesn't, 
it doesn't matter. Everyone deals with teenage angst and everyone knows someone or has been addicted to something. And so I think that we just talk about things that are really real and people like feeling like they're not alone in whatever they're dealing with. And I think that everyone loves to come home and share a laugh at the end of the day. I looked at your Twitter and you just tweeted that you taped your final in front of season two in front of the live audience. Talk to me about taping in front of a live audience, but also closing out season two, what can people expect? Well, I started in musical theater, so for me, filming in... Oh, this is a cakewalk. <laughs> You're like, this is a cakewalk. <laughs> so for me, filming in front of a live audience is kind of the best of both worlds because you have the magic that an audience brings to a set, and also, if someone messes up, you can say, cut. So it's amazing. I... I love, I love having our audience with us. And afterwards, we can go and meet them and say thank you for coming and ask them how they're enjoying the show and if they watch often and who they watch with. It's an honor to get to meet these fans because we have nothing without them. You know, they're what brings us our job. And as for the end of season two, I think you can expect lots of twists and turns. You will not be bored for sure. <laughs> you mentioned someone earlier that I'm such a huge fan of, Chuck Lorre. I mean, he's one of the greatest minds, not only currently in television, but in television history. I mean, the man has created so much incredible content for millions of people. When you get to read the words that this man has created in his mind, talk to me about the influence Chuck Lorre has had, not only on the show, but from what you've seen just all over television in the industry. He's amazing. I am so blown away by the things that he's able to create. It blows my mind, quite frankly. But I think that one of the most amazing things that I see about him is he's really hands-on with our show. Like, think partially because we're so new and also we're just a project that he holds really near and dear to his heart and so he spends a lot of time on our sets and our rehearsals and we'll be running a scene and he'll give an adjustment that seems so small and I'll wonder like okay how is that really gonna like fix stuff but we do it again and all of a sudden it's a brand new scene and things are flowing like they never used to before and all of a sudden everyone's laughing out loud and it's amazing he has an eye like nothing I have ever seen before so it's an honor to watch him work. Being a teenager and being on a hit show must open up incredible doors for you. I've seen you on various lists where you're being called the next big thing in many <laughs> regards. What, what's next for you? Where would you like to see your career go over the next 3, 5, 10, 15 years? Well, right now I'm trying to do my best to just put one foot in the front of the other and take it a day at a time. But I start college really soon. Crazy. So I'm going to be a student for a while and be working on season three of the show. And then eventually I would really like to move into feature films. So we'll see, day at a time. All good. You might be the most composed 17 year old I think I've ever. <laughs> I think you're more mature at 17 than I am at 36. <laughs> that's, that's more of a compliment to you, but it just a horrendous insult towards my life. <laughs> Everybody make sure to check out this incredibly talented young lady. Season two finale of Mom on the way and also season three also on the way.